All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Detroit Lions in tonight's video. So they just showed down in New Jersey uh, against the New York Giants. Yeah, I'll uh, make that one make sense. Um, <laughs> Preseason week one, Detroit Lions just lost three to 14 against the New York Giants. Um, obviously, no one's hitting the panic button. Like pretty much no starters played unless you're extremely young or like a rookie like Terry on Arnold. Uh, this was such an underwhelming football game, man. You wait from the time the season ends, whether your season ends in January or your season ends uh, January or late January, whatever. You wait months and months and months. You wait eight months, seven months, whatever it is. And we watched that. Uh, this is a joke. I'm a Packers fan. I don't want you guys to get offended by this. This football game, your starters did not play. Your bench played. This just felt like a Detroit Lions game growing up. I'm only 25 here. I'm a Packers fan. Um, I remember watching that Packers-Lions game in your winless season i don't even know why i'm talking about this guys i feel so bad this has no indication of what your season is gonna look like i mean it preseason i've watched all three of these preseason games to this point they all suck i mean you sit down and you watch this football game and you're like 5 10 15 30 minutes in you're sitting here wondering why did i watch this football game i'll tell you why you watch this football game you love the Detroit Lions, you love football, and you know that in football, it's not a matter of feet, it's not a matter of yards, it's a matter of inches. Football is a game of inches. And we didn't get too much from the Detroit Lions because the starters didn't play in today's game, but or tonight's game, but uh, we did see some interesting stuff. So welcome back to the channel. That intro was super weird. I hope it didn't offend anybody because I love the freaking Detroit Lions, but uh, welcome back to the channel. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, because we're going to be doing this all freaking season. Lions fans, if we could get this video to 100 likes, that would be dope. Um, 3 to 14, uh, the Lions had 15 first downs. They were 5 of 17 in third down efficiency. 0 for 4 in fourth down efficiency. Dan Campbell had his finest even in preseason week one, uh, but only 228 total yards of offense, only 132 yards of passing offense. The rushing game was pretty solid, 118 yards, but they were 0 for 3 in the red zone. Uh, they did have a turnover. They did have a fumble lost. And um, yeah, I mean, they had seven penalties. They only added up to 41 just for comparison stakes. Uh, the Giants had 10 penalties for 102 yards. So, you know, once again, man, you're going with Sudfeld. Uh, Hendon Hooker did get banged up. I don't have an update for you guys because this game literally just ended. Um, didn't seem too bad, but Hendon was like, you know, kind of the draw, the allure to the second half. We're watching Nate Sudfeld throw for four yards for a catch in the first half, and it was just kind of dicey. Uh, backup offensive linemen, backup everybody, so nothing too crazy, but there were a couple of standouts that I saw, and it's taken me long enough to even get into it. Folks, Amik Robertson made a play right out of the gate. Uh, Ennis Rakestraw Jr., your draft pick out of Mizzou, he made a couple of nice plays. Terion Arnold made a couple of nice plays. To me, all I really was watching was rookies and a couple of intriguing players, guys like James Houston. Uh, but just let's let's go through it. All right, Nate Sudfeld, that was a horrible first half. I'm so sorry. One interception, um, no fumbles lost. I apologize. That turnover was the interception. 13 of 24, 96 yards, four yards per reception. Uh, wasn't great. Uh, but then Hendon Hooker comes in in the second half, and it was kind of like this fresh breath of energy five and nine 36 yards of passing on uh, a couple of possessions he ran four times for 34 yards i really hope Hendon hooker is all good by the time you guys watch this video you probably will know the logistics of that injury but he was definitely one of the bright spots of today um real quick sione vaki the rookie out of utah got some run in what was it Felt like the fourth fourth quarter might have been a little bit of the third and fourth quarter. Four rushes for 29 yards, 7.2 yards per carry. Now that I say it out loud, he definitely played in the second half or at the start of the third quarter. Um, him and Hendon, it was like a change of energy. It was like a change of the vibe. 
Vaki was one of the bright spots in the Lions depth chart earlier tonight. Once again, four rushes, 29 yards, 7.2 yards per rush. Uh, Zonovan Knight, six carries, 12 yards rushing. Uh, he was the starter for the game. Craig Reynolds didn't get anything going, really. Neither did Jefferson. It was a tough night rushing the football, even though they did run for 118 yards. It was only 3.9 yards per carry. Uh, one bright spot, in fact, I think the, um, the coverage gave this guy the player of the game, Isaiah Williams. Um, Isaiah Williams coming out of Illinois, four catches, 35 yards. He was definitely the bright spot as far as the receiving game goes. Antoine Green did get banged up, but the good news is um, he walked off on his own power. I, I don't anticipate that being a legitimate concern for a long-term injury or anything like that. Isaiah Williams really interesting because last year at Illinois, 82 catches for the second straight season, over 1,000 yards receiving. Five total touchdowns. He averaged 13 yards per catch. Um, you know, tonight we're kind of trying to see who's making the roster and who isn't. You know, just as a quick summary, like, you know, is Isaiah Williams making the roster? Well, the depth chart will tell you he's like wide receiver number nine. Um, but I would anticipate that certainly changes after today. Moving down the line, Donovan Peoples Jones had a nice 26 yard catch. I want to say that was from Hooker. It could have been from Sudfeld. It was a difficult game to kind of digest uh, due to the injury to Hendon Hooker, but DPJ did have a nice 26-yard catch. Antoine Green, speaking of that injury, he had three catches for 13 yards. But once again, I mean, the first half offense, it was kind of unwatchable. I, I'm not trying to rag on the lines here because it's preseason week one with no starters or Pretty much no starters playing, so hopefully you guys understand it. But wasn't a great game for Antoine Green because the, Nate just was averaging four yards per reception. I mean, it, it, it just wasn't or four yards per completion. It just wasn't really good. Uh, that's really it for the offense. Uh, Maurice Alexander had a fumble. Uh, that wasn't great, but they did recover it. Uh, moving forward real quick, defensively, Brandon Joseph had a nice interception on Notre Dame legend. I believe he had an interception in last year's preseason. Uh, Nate Lynn had a sack. Ukwu, Isaac Ukwu had a nice little sack. He actually had a really good game. James Houston made a couple of nice tackles. He had a late hit that didn't get called. I thought that was um, a little bit dicey. Uh, but outside of that, man, Ennis Rakestraw, Terion Arnold, Amik Robertson, I think they did a really good job in today uh once again i'm sorry guys we don't really have too many highlights uh it's preseason you can't really you know post highlights on this but the good news is drew lock played you know he started the game he actually got banged up so hopefully he's all right four of 10 17 yards and an interception if that gives you kind of an indication of the lions defense tonight or the lions secondary tonight once again Four out of 10 for Drew Lock for 17 yards and an interception. So that line secondary was looking pretty well. And then Tommy DeVito stepped in in that injury, 8 of 15, 92 yards, 6.1 yards per carry or throw. Sorry. Um, the concern could possibly be that the lot or the Giants ran 27 times for 152 yards for two touchdowns averaging 5.7 yards per carry Eric Gray had a 48 yard rush so that kind of gives you um, the stats are definitely skewered the Giants kind of averaged around four yards per carry if it wasn't for that 48 yard touchdown from Eric Gray so I don't have defensive concerns I mean it's really hard to gauge I uh, will do a more condensed legitimate recap tomorrow this was just kind of first reaction uh it's 10 30 here in fort myers florida so i hope you guys enjoyed it hit that like button hit that sub button let me know your thoughts from preseason game one let me know who you liked and let me know who you didn't like thank you for watching have a great night we'll see you tomorrow guys real quick i apologize i have no microphone in jake bates drilled a 53 yarder in the rain that was absolutely huge could not leave that out of the video thank you